Hey guys, Preston here, and the 84 and 59 New York, Yankees, New York Yankees we're facing it's the 82 and 60 Baltimore Orioles. We're going to have CC Sabathia against the Orioles today in Camden Parks, four yards, I don't know. We're facing against Zach Britton with an 11 6 record and a 3.56 ERA. The whip is a little high, but his puns of batting average is a little low. So, those are mere lineup is going to be pretty much the same, except Thomas Neal will be in Burke Gardner's spot because he is struggling batting wise. He's batting around like 265. And Thomas Neal, oh, he seems like he have a bright future for this team so far. And we're going to lead off with Dexter Fowler. He's going to pop that up into left field. And that will be called for the first out of the game. Yankees are looking to make a nice playoff push right here. This is going to be the second to last game before the regular season, or the, before the postseason is going to start. We're going to have the last game, which would be the Houston Nachos. I think it's home. Or it might be away, I don't know. One of those two. It's going to be, it's going to be the last game, and we're going to get right into the playoffs. So episodes or games 8, 9, 10, they'll be all playoff episodes. And then that's going to be it for the series. This is a very good I had a very good time with this series. We started around like March or April, around that time, and now we're finally finishing over a year later. This is going to be our fourth year in the franchise, which is always very nice. Here's the or Orioles lineup, which is very stacked, honestly. This is just a beast lineup with a bunch of power and a lot of potential, uh, but their pitching isn't really too good. So, this is reflecting on this year for this franchise, this is pretty much born by this channel. This is the, the first series, I guess, for sports that I actually did. <laughs> if you look back at my other uh, commentaries for this for this game, it was very, it wasn't really too good. I mean, I had I was using a rock band microphone for my first like four or five games of this episode. You can honestly tell. Like right now, I have a blue snowball with a pop filter, which actually really helped because my intro was "Hey guys, it's Preston," and the the pop filter really helps it. And, uh, they don't like blow into the mic and just make it doesn't sound good. And pretty much it. That's uh, what we've had. I don't know, We've had like 30, I want to say maybe 30 to 40 or even 50 episodes of this franchise, which is a lot. That's a lot of time that this game I've been playing. Four years of this franchise. Third year wasn't really that long. It was only like six regular season episodes because I took a break during that episode. And that's pretty much it. MLB 2K is finally coming to a close soon. Remember, I still have, I have my PS4 to play on. So this is going to pretty much be it. I hope you guys liked it. I mean... I had a lot of fun with the Yankees franchise. I wanted to do Yankees franchise for the PS4, but uh, just, I don't even want to. I want to switch it up for a, a bit so I have the Kansas City Royals franchise. But you guys seem to be enjoying. It's been getting a lot of views, comments, perceptions, and likes, which is always nice because the more you like and comment and view, and view of the video, the, the more freaking I'll, frequent I'll put out the videos. Just saying. Uh, so Yankees aren't really doing too good right here. They gave up a home run. Yeah, they gave the home run to Matt Weiher. Sabathia not looking too strong. I mean, he's had his ERAs above five or six at this point, which isn't always good because he's really he's declining like fast at this point. He's like dying at this point in this in our rotation. He's not really doing too well at all. Just not doing too good in the whole entire season. The past couple of years, he had good. I think two years ago, 2014 season, he had a good year, but he's just not doing good as he gives up another run. And Orioles will take a nice 2 0 lead over the Yankees, but still in the third inning, two outs now, one to count to the batter, and he's going to hit that, almost hits the bat at the end. It's going to go into center field for a single. Runners will be on first and second, and there will be still two outs. Now we'll go to the next batter, Manny Machado is going to be up in the first position. He's going to hit that into deep left field. Thomas Neal, he's going to play it off the wall. Two runs will score, most likely. Or no, one run. One run. Third, uh, be running on second and third. Now two outs, one to count to the batter. Mia swing and a miss on the changeup, and Sabathia works out of jam, but he does give up three runs, which isn't good because we need good performances out of him. He's just slacking into the starting pit. He's just slacking in the rotation. It's gonna be a deep fly ball hit by Billy Butler into left center field, and looks like that one is going to be gone. This 25th home run of the season. We are in the last month of the season so far. So we're pretty much wrapping it all up right now. So Spathia is not really doing too good as he gives up another home run. I think it's the number nine batter. This is our rotation so far. It's uh, Pineda who hasn't really been doing too good at all. Then we got David Price. He's doing pretty good. Then we got Brett Anderson. He's doing good. Dave Phelps and Nova are doing good. And then there's Sabathia. And Sabathia is probably the worst out of the rotation. He could be like, around the middle of the pack. He should be. I mean, his overall is like an 80 something at this point, which is pretty good. I mean,. He's just not doing getting it done. Now let's get back in the game. Evan Gaddis is struggling beyond me. He only has six home runs, and we're on the last we're in the last month of the season. 
at this point he should have at least like 20 because last year or every year besides this year he's had at least 20 home runs uh, maybe 18 his first year and a rookie he's just not doing too good so that's why he's batting last in the other and it looks like this is going to be another home run giving up by Sabathia that's going to be I think his third or fourth of the game he's going to be hit by Chris Davis which is tearing up with 32 home runs on the season so far and the font and the score is now going to be 6-2-2 two, two. Four run deficit right now. That looks like it can be another home run given up by Sabathia. That's like his fifth or sixth at this point. Just that's gonna be gone. Counselor, I don't even heard of these players. It's like a no name lineup. Orioles are gonna be up seven and two. Adam Jones up. He's gonna rip that pitch. And it looks like that's going to be fair down the left field line and go all the way to the wall. Thomas seems gonna have to play it off. And that's a double for Adam Jones right there. Not looking good for Sabathia, but. Nothing get the Orioles can't get anything out of that inning. We go to the sixth inning. Dexter Fowler always gonna rip that pitch into left field for a nice base hit. Yankees are down five runs. They really gotta pick up their pace. They only have two runs so far. Just just do anything at this point. Billy Buzz is gonna rip that pitch down the left field and that will go off the wall. Just miss a home run. Dexter Fowler is gonna run second base. He's gonna go to third base with a nice Double from Billy Butler who gets in there sliding. First and second out one out two. Mark Trumbo is gonna who's having a nice rebound here. He's like twenty 20 something home runs at this point. Two more runs will score. Billy Butler is going to cross home plate and, find, and the deficit is cut down by a bit. Yankees are still losing 7 to 4. We go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Two outs, one, two, got nice swing and a miss on the slide from Sabathia. He is somewhat consistent. He can get good, he can get out, he can have jams, but he just gives up too many home runs. This is, but this is a f hitter friendly pop. pop. Ballpark. Now we go seven thing, two outs. Evan Gas is gonna be up and he's gonna hit that pitch. Nice diving stop by Man Machado, who is playing shortstop because he's originally shortstop and then J then uh JJ Hardy left the team. So he's playing shortstop now. It's at third base. Here comes Brett Marshall to come in relief. It was not having a very good season. Five point four four ERA. I think last season. I don't think he's pitched this season. I don't even know. He does get a nice strike out to end the inning and retire the side. And Yankees are going to the eighth inning. This is their last couple of chances to actually get this game going. Yeah, they're the top of the order right now. Nice timing stuff by Manny Machado. Just keep just Yankees can't get any breaks at this point. Now we go to Will Millerbrooks. So to count one out, and it looks like he's gonna do is gonna take that high strike for a strike three call. I don't think that was a strike, but I guess the yeah, umpire thought it was so too. Now two out to to count to Billy Butler, and it's gonna be a swing and miss on that pitch. Just, uh, it's not looking too good for the padding of the Yankees. I mean, they're getting the hits, but they're just not getting any runs. Not looking too good. Go to the bottom half of the eighth inning now. No outs, one, two count. That's going to be a little dribbler to Judd Lauer. We have the bare hand that play. Throw over the first base will be in time, and one will be down. So I do have to I do have to say one thing about Elite Fourteen. The show is that the base running sucks. I, I like this base running better. I mean, it's a better system. I just uh, just going a little rant right here. I just it's too complicated. Elite Two Get Thirteen. If it has something good in the game, it does have very good base running and some good feeling mechanics. I do like it very much. But Elite Fourteen, the show is just too complicated. That's a nice stop. That's a nice play by Jed Larry when like off the pitchers matter or something or off Brett Marshall. Nice play. This is going to be hit. Yankees need three runs to keep this game alive. We go with Mark Tremble up with O2 count and swing and a miss. Now nah, you want to start off the inning. <laughs> and he doesn't look too happy. But we got Robbie Cano up. Let's see if he can come to the clutch right here with an O2 count. And he's going to hit that to Chris David. Who's going to throw over the Jim Johnson for the first or the second out. Jim Johnson is in to close the game out. Now all of our hope is on to... Uh, Thomas Neal, two outs now. Oh, one count. He's going to hit that pitch to Chris Davis. Make the play over the first base, and that will be it. So, if you got the videos, just call comment. Oh, because there won't be videos from the Yankees franchise and video comments below. So, I Twitter, guys, me, some last present. I'll see you guys later tomorrow with some New York Giants or maybe some MLB 14 in the show. If you can't see Rose franchise, we will see then. Tough loss. Tough loss, tough loss for the Yankees. One more regular season game, and it's on to the playoffs. Let's see if they can win back to back to back. Championships for the World Series. So we'll see you then. So see you.